Hello lovelies! So the holiday season is officially upon us and in my house that means a lot of entertaining. All month long I'm going to be sharing really fun party ideas with you guys. I've got a winter wonderland theme and a really cool brunch theme. I've also got a very sophisticated wine and cheese party coming. And of course we'll wrap things up with a fantastic New Year's party. All of these parties have a great menu, tasty drinks, and of course, a lot of great DIYs that you can do at home. So be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing inspired entertaining ideas for the rest of the month. And today I'm kicking things off with my take on a hot chocolate bar, and I think it's pretty epic. It's cozy and cuddly and snuggly, and the theme is all about warming up. So I thought it would be fun to start with a nice knit blanket instead of a tablecloth. Now of course this is not a blanket that I am particularly attached to because anything could spill on it, but I do love how it kind of sets the stage for this party. I'm also adding some plush cushions that I think look super cute. And to add a little more character, I also put out some mittens and some earmuffs because I think they work really, really well with our cozy winter theme. Next, to stick with my cozy theme, I thought it would be fun to incorporate some Nordic patterns into my decor. So what I did was actually purchase a pair of kids' tights. You can definitely do this at a thrift shop if you wanted to, or just an inexpensive pair of tights will work. I simply snipped off a piece of the fabric and then stretched it over a dollar store vase. Then I just filled the vase with some pretty festive flowers I found at my supermarket, and there you go, how adorable is that? For a little illumination, I also added these cute red lanterns. After all, I didn't want any exposed candles around all of this fabric. Once the stage is set, it's time to get started on my hot chocolate bar. I started by pouring some hot milk into a carafe so it stays warm throughout the party. Next, I put out some traditional hot chocolate powder, but I didn't want to stop there. I really wanted to make it special, so I added an assortment of chocolate chips. And let's be honest, I didn't just stop at chocolate. I also added some butterscotch chips and some peanut butter chips for good measure. If you find yourself short on mugs like I did, you can go ahead and use mason jars with these cozy little sleeves. I'm just using some socks that I found at the dollar store. I just cut off the top of the socks and then shimmied them down. These are so super simple and I really think they totally work with this theme. Then I made these festive stir sticks by cutting out these adorable labels and taping them to some wooden stir sticks. These labels and all of the fun signs you see in today's video are available in our Etsy store, so if you wanna find them, you can take a look. The link is in the description box below. And then it's all about the flavors, and of course the possibilities here are endless. You could go traditional with things like peppermint sticks or get a little spicy with some cayenne pepper. Cayenne and chocolate are a match made in heaven. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend you do. The variety here is what it's all about. I also put out some more traditional toppings like chocolate sauce and caramel sauce and whipped cream. And for the adults in the room, I thought it would be nice to put out a few flavored liqueurs. I like some hazelnut, coffee, and Irish cream liqueurs. All go really, really nicely with a cup of hot chocolate. But do you know what goes even better with hot chocolate? cookies. A whole lot of cookies. Once again, variety is what it's all about here. You want to use lots of different flavors and textures. I love all of these cookies, but I am especially fond of these adorable snowmen. And of course, because I'm all about options, I thought it would be nice to round out all of that cookie goodness with some milk. Speaking of cookies, I did want to mention that I will actually be sharing a brand new cookie recipe every day this month on both Instagram and Snapchat. So if you're not following me, I really think you should because there's going to be a lot of cookies. I've also compiled all of these tasty recipes in my brand new 25 Days of Cookies ebook. So you can find the link in the description box if you want to take a look at that. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this party as much as I did. It really put me in the mood for the holidays. And if you give any of these fun ideas a try, I hope you'll tweet, Instagram, or Snapchat me a photo because I love seeing your creations. Keep in mind, I have a ton of great entertaining tips coming at you all month long, so stay tuned for those. We're gonna have some great menus, tasty drinks, and of course, super simple but super adorable DIY projects. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more holiday entertaining where this came from. And deliciousness.
there's always deliciousness.